Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Christiana, also known as Christiana Torgosa on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Let's hang out. Today, I wanted to answer a few questions that a lot of the newer bodybuilders actually asked me last year, and I think it'd be really helpful for someone who's starting the sport to be able to have some guidance and some answers to these important questions that were coming up. I just want to give you some clarity, help you out a little bit on those questions, and yeah. So I'm going to go hit a leg day, let's get these questions answered, and let's build. Okay, I guess I have a little time left. I forgot PJ had to borrow the car really quick. So I'm going to chat with you guys. My first question that I want to answer is, should you get a coach? Here's my answer. Yes. I definitely think with any sport or anything that you're trying to pursue that maybe is new to you, having the guidance is going to be so key for your success, especially for bodybuilding. We may know how to live, we may know how to eat healthy, but there are just so many intricate things that maybe need to change or need to be added to your overall plans, which are really going to pave the way towards success in the sport. So my answer to that is, Absolutely, you should have a coach. All right, so I'm gonna answer another question for you guys. That is, is it expensive to do bodybuilding? Yes, I will answer that it is expensive and very rewarding. So when I say that is, there are a few things that you should consider when you are wanting to start bodybuilding. Where you are financially is going to be very important because things that you are going to be paying for in bodybuilding are pretty expensive as things add up. If you are new, it will be expensive, but in the long run, once you have a lot of the things that are already going to be used, maybe every single prep during your shows, you're all set. The answer is yes, it is expensive to start bodybuilding. So as you begin bodybuilding, there are a few things that you will need to invest in. And for example, that's going to be your coaching, the shows that you're going to be competing in. And once you do get to choose a show, you have the option to choose how many classes you're doing, whether or not you're true novice, novice or open. And really you can get that um, guidance from your coach and how many you want to really enter. Then you're going to need to invest in your suit, your heels, your jewelry, also anything like your meals. Also consider your groceries, what you're going to need to pack for when you go to shows, definitely buying different sheets when you travel. And so those are just a few things that are investments that you'll be making when you start bodybuilding, but it's really after a while, when you do have all of the main things like your suit, everything that you travel with, it kind of goes down as you continue in the sport. So to answer the question, is starting bodybuilding expensive? Yes, it is expensive at first and I would definitely recommend taking into consideration where you are financially because things can add up in the beginning. It is very rewarding and does come back to you. All right, guys, so that is the second question I'm gonna be answering today. Yeah, all right, see you guys in a bit. Hey. <laughs> hey, guys, so we are back from the gym. We are actually chilling on PJ's new chair. Shh. It's really comfortable and the lighting is super nice here, so yes. Um, we just got back from the gym, had a really great leg workout. I am tired. I'm probably going to have, I'm probably, I can't even speak. I'm going to have my food here shortly. I just wanted to answer one more question for anyone who is considering getting into bodybuilding and just starting their journey. A question that I got last year too was, well, how did you choose your division? And I chose my division. I think I want to do another revamp video of why I chose wellness. Just to keep it more aligned to the overall theme of this video, just answering question, how do you choose your division? Is you really choose your division one, what do you want to look like? Or what physique do you want to build? I believe that's what you should ask yourself first is, do the research, look at the different divisions, either bikini, wellness, figure, bodybuilding, what have you. Just 
look up the different physiques, see what really resonates with you, and honestly, what really sparks a freaking light in you. Actually, what sparks a freaking fire in you. Because from my personal experience, starting a bikini and moving into wellness, I, really, I was really enjoying training for a bikini, but I, I always had this like feeling and kind of a little bit of anxious feelings or just anxiety that I wasn't ever going to get myself to that level. And rightfully so, I just had that feeling for a reason and I really had to lean into it. And finally, when wellness was brought out, I was like, that physique was like lighting everything in me to get my motor running. Corny, cheesy, no, okay. Lit all the fire in me, got the energy going. And so I knew that that physique was what I want to build for. So I would ask yourself that. What physique do I want to build? What, how do I want to feel while I'm training and really envisioning the stage and seeing yourself shine up there with that physique? Because that's what's really gonna motivate you and then keep you on track and also just like I said, just keep you so excited that you're gonna, that that's what you're building for. So that's how I would also, that's how I would start to choose what division you should be in. And also consult with your coach, right? Talk with your coach, ask them questions, let them know like, hey, I'm considering, like I know I spoke to a few coaches before I got with my coach right now, my coaches right now, and something that stuck out to me I was speaking to one of the coaches and he was saying, you know, I actually don't have a lot of wellness girls that I just have go on stage right now. And the reason is because I don't want to just throw someone into a division just because it's popular right now or they think that they should, you know, get into a specific division because they think that they have like, for example, big legs, right? He was like, I really have to assess like what their body looks like right now. He was like, I really have to assess like what their body looks like right now and will that really be, be a good fit for them or will they fit better in this specific, you know, will they fit better in this specific division? So talk to your coach, get their insight. They're there because they should be able to provide you that information and they should be able to kind of they should be able to guide you where you would really thrive. Those were the three questions that I wanted to go over with you guys. I hope this helped you guys out. I hope you enjoyed the video. I am really, I feel really good so far with our series. And if anything here is resonating with you and helping you out along your journey, whether you're starting, you're in the middle, you're already, a pro that'd be dope if you're watching this too but like anyone if you are just enjoying this please let me know by liking commenting and subscribing i am so excited this is just the beginning and yeah i will close out the video here and see you guys tomorrow